To begin the story of my Bonner experience, I need to speak to why I became interested in community service and engagement in the first place. Outreach has been a constant aspect of my family life since I was young. My parents ingrained in my brother and me the importance of and joy to be found in helping others, allowing us to gain an appreciation of everything we are fortunate enough to have. We began participating in service opportunities through my church to serve those of all ages, from those in nurseries to those in nursing homes. In third grade, I joined Girl Scouts, where I became involved with service by helping other troops and community organizations. I continued on to achieve my gold award, the highest award in scouting. My family and Girl Scouting experiences gave me the skills to develop a project, execute it successfully, and maintain a commitment to it over a period of time. I learned that community outreach takes an immense amount of dedication, patience, and open-mindedness. Working with others on a goal or vision involves adapting to difference, difference in approach, perspective, opinion, and understanding of those serving and of those served. Two, I came to learn the difference between a friend and a volunteer. Although I was a volunteer for most of my service opportunities, I had to be a friend in many scenarios too, which proved to be the most powerful moments. I gained the understanding that in order for an idea to be implemented successfully in a community, it must grow out of a relationship. Whether that be a partnership or a friendship, trusting and working through each other's differences to achieve a common goal is the first step to making a positive change in an individual and community. Moving on to my Swanee Bonner story. A majority of my community engagement has been in an educational environment. Beginning in South Pittsburgh, working with eyes. I continued my tutoring and mentoring with children. An exceptionally striking moment was when one of the students was working on her vocabulary and turned and looked up at me and asked, what is poverty? This was a child living an impoverished life but knew nothing else. I found myself at a loss for words. I did not want to take away from the comfort and satisfaction she had with her life because she knew no difference between our backgrounds and to address it would have hurt our relationship. Freshman year, I also began my work in the free medical clinics in Winchester and Bershaw Springs. Learning the ins and outs of running a free clinic in a rural setting was extremely eye-opening, as I had never been in a medical setting that had the bare minimum to help those with very little or no access and knowledge of health care. Sophomore year, Gabby Spangenberg and I began to expand our relationships with the clinics in the Suwannee community through increasing clinic volunteers developing an internship program for Swanee pre-med, pre-health students, and becoming diabetes educators. The internship program allows students to shadow doctors of different specialties in a free clinic, work directly with patients, their files and medications, grant writing, and to understand how small clinics function. We went through the Wickham's Reversing Diabetes Seminar in the fall for our own education and certification and created an extracurricular course for Suwannee students in the spring. Over the past two years since then, the course has become a two-credit course through Suwannee that currently has 17 students enrolled. Adriana Lewers, Samay Emerson, and I have made a curriculum that consists of lectures taught by professors, community members, and doctors so that students gain a comprehensive learning approach to how diabetes functions in the body and how one's environment plays a role in its development, persistence, and reversal. Overall, the growth of these two programs has strongly impacted my appreciation for and understanding of healthcare in both a rural and urban setting. Though I cannot say what lacking access to healthcare fully means, I know how vital it is, not only to an individual, but also for community health and lifestyle. My Bonner experience has played a major role in my growth as a person and in my appreciation for my education. I have gained confidence in my leadership abilities both in the classroom, community, and beyond, and hope to continue how I can be a better leader and serve others. Suwannee as a small university and community is so special and it has been invaluable to get to know the surrounding communities and people. Before coming to Suwannee, I had not understood or appreciated what it meant to live in a rural community with limited access to health care, nutritious foods, education, job opportunities, and much more. Having gotten to know people who deal with lacking resources, but who still wear a smile on their face, make me laugh, and are working to be healthier, educated individuals, makes me grateful for all I have and more thoughtful about how I take on each day and situation. I am so thankful for all the wonderful and challenging times I have had over the past four years, 
because they have taught me lessons and skills that will stick with me throughout life and make me a stronger, more confident individual.